Hi and welcome to the great reveal as Karawa changes color. It's Monday morning, 31st of October. The floor's been damped, both sides, the skirt's on. And covering, prevent any dust dropping. All the white's been protected. They're just putting the final finishing touches to the coverings. So here we go. A sped up view of Karawa changing color as we apply Empress Blue in three coats starting from the port side. You never quite know how it's going to turn out. Um, but to say that we were happy is an understatement. We were very pleased with the color as it developed. Here they're applying what I think is the third coat, which was in the afternoon. It's looking very bright. Being in the paint shed doesn't quite show it off to its the best of its um, color and now we move on to applying the um, the bootstripe which look very large but actually when you're in the water it doesn't look that large revealed in all her glory the new Empress Blue Kariwa I think she looks uh, pretty good and on the whole we've received rave reviews of the color and she really stands out of course, once the painting's finished, it's time to put all the hardware back together, including putting the rub rail metal in and 130 new screws, all stainless steel, I might add, with adequate sealant. I was very particular on this point. As you would expect, the sealant gets squeezed out as they drill in the screws, but um, it gets nicely cleaned up afterwards, and here you can see a brand new rubber rail looking fantastic. Sealant was added to all joints between the paintwork and other surfaces. So now we're just preparing the swim platform and the doors and the scupper covers. He's wiping them down with acetone and other cleaner in preparation for the blue paint. The swim platform also had uh, non-skid added to it. And this required quite careful taping off for a very intricate job. After uh, putting the frame back on for the swim platform, it was time to uh, put the swim platform back on. And uh, once that was in place, it would then also be time to put the name back on the, on the hull. We were both fascinated by how accurately the guys were able to stick these on straight away. It uh, looks magnificent on the back of the hull now. Of course, once this was done, then we're coming up for the great reveal. And it's open time. With the curtains open and the drone in the air, you're able to get a view of all of the new canvas work and then also look at the very different perspectives of the hull from with sunlight. I then put the drone above the boat when it was in the slings and you get another good view, particularly the 
stern view with the new Bimney cover. It came out very well. It's always a nervous time when the boat is in the slings, but seeing the boat made over like this really did make our hearts flutter. It looked fantastic. Wow! Now she's hovering over the water and it's time for me to say a very big thank you to Ram Marina and Yacht Club for all the hard work that the team put in place. We were thoroughly pleased with the results. Surprisingly, Kariwa generated a lot of interest when she was launched again after three months on the hard. This is our new shade curtains up on the aft deck where we spend a lot of time. We really enjoy them. For a few days of testing systems, it was time to leave the Rio Dolce. Here we are heading down the Rio again, down to Livingston, where we will be towed assisted over the bar. The boat comes out to help guide us over the bar and pull us over the shallow part, which lasts two minutes. Vibrating. I think we're kind of dragging and he's dragging but we're still moving and we're almost at the sea boy which is a good thing the next morning on our way to the Bay Islands Honduras on to adventures new next time we'll discuss the costs and experience <laughs>